Hello, I'm Matt Damour of the Link newspaper and 99 Media. Uh, I'm just going to be doing a quick recap of uh, the protest that we saw this morning for uh, International Workers' Day or May Day. Uh, there are some more events that are taking place later on in the day, so this is just a quick recap of what happened this morning. So the initial gathering was at Phillips Square in downtown Montreal. Uh, by the time I got there around 9.20, there were already hundreds of people packed into the square. Uh, between the time of the official start date, which was around 9.30, uh, a.m. and uh, about 10 a.m. when the march actually started. More and more people came in. We saw some school buses uh, coming in that were bringing in protesters. Uh, it is worth noting that this was a, a very coordinated uh, protest action. Uh, unions and different organizations were involved, so there were definitely some, uh, some people who were coming in from out of town. Uh, there were some speeches, uh, lots of different causes being talked about, mainly anti-austerity sentiments, but also uh, about the access to um, uh, equitable and, and affordable uh, housing and, and apartments, uh, women's rights, uh, the rights of, uh, of youths and students. Um, so by the time the speeches were done, the march started in earnest at that point. There were definitely thousands of people participating. Uh, the march went first to Square Victoria from Phillips Square. Uh, and at that point, some people uh, stopped, and uh, there were some more speeches, some more, uh, some more uh, action there. And then eventually people uh, left from Square Victoria, uh, heading towards uh, the Old Port. Uh, as we were walking towards the Old Port, uh, somebody did come out and uh, start shredding on an electric guitar, uh, which was really nice. The people seemed to enjoy that. By the time we got to the old port, uh, there was more of a police presence. Up until that point, the, the, the police presence was very light. I uh, didn't really see that much riot police uh, or, or police vehicles uh, following. Uh, but once we got to the old port, they definitely came out of the woodwork. We did see dozens of uh, riot police officers, but um, there was no confrontation between them uh, and protesters. Uh, eventually, a left was taken out of the old port onto Saint Laurent. Uh, back towards the downtown core, eventually leading uh, towards uh, Place Emily Gamelin. Lots of people at that point did enter the metro, and it was in the in the couple of hundreds at that point. Uh, and uh, the march did continue for a little bit. There was a blockade on uh, Saint Hubert and uh, Saint Catherine, but at that point the numbers were small enough where people just went on the sidewalk and kept marching down Saint Catherine. So yeah, it was a bright and sunny day. Lots of people out, young and old. Uh, all kinds of backgrounds, uh, a lot of unions were represented, political parties, uh, so it was a very diverse crowd. No confrontation with the police. Uh, there have been activities all over Montreal, uh, but specifically I'm going to be following the, the marches that are happening uh, from Phillips Square. I'm going to be at Norman Bethune Square at 5 p.m., uh, and then that's going to lead towards uh, Phillips Square for uh, marches starting around 6, 6.30. So uh, until then, thanks for watching. See you later.